third foul. We were talking at halftime that what probably Maneki and Mim both need to do is take it back up and jam it. Now look how strong Johnson goes to the basket. Then the hang time, and then the finish. Got the body, just the lower part of the waist. Maneki will go to the sideline frustrated with the foul. Because again, to Gabe Maneki, that's not much contact. Frustrated with himself, though, down low. How many times do we see Gabe Maneki just go up and just jam it through, and that time he put the little finger roll and missed? I think what frustrates him is they let Nahara play, and they, they curb his activities. And it's a good question to be answered. Owens inside. Well, that's a nice entry pass by William Clay. Looking at the defense and watching it shift the matchup zone, Owen simply stepped in between and Clay put it right on the money. The lob pass, Owen steals it. Rims eye stone, and they're going to substitute for him quickly. Six turnovers against the Sooners as Owens lobs it into Mim and can't get anything to go. Owens dives for the ball, and it's going to go back to Oklahoma. Chris Mims got to hold his ground, Ron. He got pushed in the back as he went across there, but if he stands his ground, he's stronger than any player on the court. They're going to call that foul. token full court pressure. That's good defense. Wagner taken away by Wagner as they came up with the double team. Played Nahara perfectly. Came from the weak side, knew Nahara likes to spin. Spun right to Wagner, made the steal. The lob into Mim. You see the quick triple team. And Owens driving to the hoop too hard, and the outlet pass comes to Johnson. Wagner let it go, and Texas had touched it last. Another good defensive play by Wagner. Take a look what happens when you're an All-American center. You get the basketball. What teammates have to do is have a little bit better space. When Mim threw it out, Owens was much too close to it. He steps away from it. Take a look at his numbers. Nine points, 16 touches. But you see when he gets a triple team, someone's got to be open. If the spacing's right, you're going to find some good shots. Travel called against Newton. Oklahoma with three second-half turnovers after taking really good care of the ball in the first half. And Manecki, you just joined us. Two quick fouls in the first half, and he got his third on a touch foul to open the second half, so he's on the bench. The guy looked for for Texas to maybe find himself, Darren Kelly. Maybe we had the seven early points, and mm -hmm. then quiet since, but he's the guy that's fearless. He'll look for the big shot. Mim. Owens. Blocked by Nahara in a jump ball, and it'll go the other way. Now, if you're Rick Barnes, you're happy with the offensive sets. You made some good hard cuts, good solid screens. You got it to Mim on the block. Simply missed a little turnaround. up the follow won't go battled by Mim and now Wagner who was grabbed by Nahara and no foul call Williams for three now you can see this young man stroke when he gets it lined up got a terrific release of the ball good push that time by Wagner called on Johnson again. Let's take a break. 15-24 remaining. Oklahoma by 11. By 11, a reminder, rivalry week 
presented by American Online. It continues for Tuesday lineup, 7 o'clock Eastern. Big Ten battle, number 6, Michigan State at Michigan. Then at 9 o'clock, it's an SEC matchup. Number 9, Tennessee facing off against number 17, Kentucky. Catch all the action on Super Tuesday. And that Tennessee ball game, our ball club is uh, playing well. Ron, how about well, that? Particularly at home. And they whipped Auburn about 29. Beat Ole Miss by about the same number up there. Great matchup. Mim. Got to score. He's getting bumped, but he still has to score. He's got opportunities at the rim. Now two of 11 from the field. Just inside the three-point line. Two for two. Back to a 13-point game, Oklahoma. Texas's misses are from about five to six feet. Williams. The outlet pass. Nobody back on Newton. Well, Williams shot it from the corner. So it's hard for him to get back defensively. He takes a long shot. Newton was on the defense there, and he took off. Someone who is up top. Looks like Darren Kelly. Look where he is up top. Here goes the shot from the corner. Now, Kelly Newton is simply going to take off. But Darren Kelly is a back man at half court. Newton streaks past him. Good pass right on the money. Newton now with double figures to join Raymond. Newton with 10, Nahara with 10, and 16 for Raymond. And a center shooting 51.3%. And the Longhorns, who shot 30 in the first half, are down to 27.5%. And, John, you are right. At the number of the 40 that they have taken, I bet you 15 of them have come five feet and less yeah, that they have missed. And they've had opportunities. I know they're getting bumped. You can take a look at the field goal since the first eight minutes. Kelly. You expect, Ron, in these types of games, when you're by the hoop, you're going to get bumped. You're going to get pushed. What Texas has not been able to do is finish it. Johnson puts it on the floor. Williams dives for it, and it's taken away by Texas. And the Sooners have been sloppy this second half of the basketball. Nahara with the reach in. Lucky he didn't get called for the foul. And a turnover against the Longhorns. Avila. Good things happen with big men run the floor. Victor Avila. J.R. Raymond really had nowhere to go here. One on two makes a spin move. Good solid defense, but look where Avila comes from. Beats Owens to the punch, continues to go to the rim. Young man's having a pretty good ball game. Well, eight points tonight. He got four very early. Actually, he got six very early. Where he, he hit those uh, those shots back to back to back, and he's feeling it. Rick Barnes is still on Ted Hiller, and he should be. Nahara committed the foul underneath as he whacked the Texas player going by, and he wanted a call, and that's when the turnover came. Maneki and Newton will be called for the foul. Texas, again, continues to pound it inside in certain areas. That time, Gabe found an opening inside. He got it, made the good spin move. See if he can convert from the foul line. Only about a 60% free throw shoot. Continues to have a tough night. One of seven from the field. Hey, Rick Barnes is not normally a coach that gets on an official and stays on him for a length of time, but he's all over Hillary. Maneki misses it and then knocks it out of bounds. Oklahoma basketball. Got to hang in there. 
He's a senior, one of the leaders on this team. Plenty of time left. Owens he throws it off Avila. What a play. The quickness of Chris Owens. Avila frustrated, probably shouldn't have gotten the ball there in the first place. J.R. Raymond made a bad play by picking up his dribble.